So in my last aircraft video, we made this awesome thing. And while it looked super cool and was easy to handle, it wasn't all that easy to land this thing. And boy oh boy, did you guys let me know that. So in this video, I'm going to be making sure that we check everybody's list and we will be making the new best aircraft for LEGO Fortnite. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so here's the aircraft we're going to be building. I made a fluid off the landing pad up there, but it's got pretty much just about everything you're going to want. It can land, it can fly pretty high, and you can steer left or right in any direction and go straight. It's also got some powered wheels in the front and a wheel in the back to steer, so you can drive this thing on the ground and fly it in the air. So let's go see how to build this thing. Alright guys, bear with me. I did only build this once. So hopefully I can still remember how to build it. So we're going to start off with the base with a large car jack just so we can get it elevated in the air so that we can have ease of adding stuff underneath it. All right, so first up, you're going to come over to the vehicle base 10. We're going to place one right in the center of the jack and we're going to snap it over so that way it looks just like this right in the center. And then we'll snap another one right to the back place just like that. Now we're going to start on the tail here. So go over and get yourself the Vico Base 06. We're going to place that right on the back just like that. We'll go over one place and get the Vico Base 05. And we're going to rotate it so that way it's long ways like that. And we'll snap it on the back of this piece just like that. Then we can come over and get the Vico Base 03. And we'll snap one on the end so it looks just like that. Now that's going to be the base for the tail. And the only thing left for the base, the platform bumper. 01. We're going to place that right on the front. So now the base of the body of the aircraft is done. We can add the base for the wings as well. So the base for the wings is pretty simple. We're just going to take this vehicle base 08 again. We're going to snap it right to the back on the left side right here. See how there's a gap right to the left there? You're going to want to cut just cover that so it looks like that. Now we're going to add one more on that side and then we can come over here and do the same thing on the other side as well. There we go. Now we're just going to add a little bit of touches here with this vehicle base 03. We're going to add one right there on this side and then another one right there. And now lastly, you're going to want to get this vehicle base 04. We're going to add one to the very back of the wings on each side, just like this. All right, there we go. And now the base for the wings is done. Now, first up, we're going to want to start with the tail here because this is going to be where you want to start building your aircraft at first. So I'll come over to the support pillars section and scroll down to beams. And we're going to be using this piece a lot, the beachy beam 01, the beachy beam 2 and 3. We're going to be using these for most of the aircraft. So make sure you guys have those before you start this build. So first, we're going to use this beachy beam 01 piece. We're going to place one two blocks past the edge right there. So that way it looks something like that. And then we can snap one to the right right here. Just like that. We can continue this pattern out one more block. And then we'll go up another level. Just like that. Now we're going to come over to the beachy thin floor 12 foot piece. We're going to snap it right in the center. Make sure it's in the center all the way to the back. Place that there. And then snap one more right in front of that. Now we can come over to our recents and get the beachy beam all one. We're going to place two more on top just like that and then two more right here now we got that complete that's all done uh it's getting dark out here so okay it's now daytime let's continue this build and like i said we're going to be using these beams a lot in this build so this time we're going to be using the beachy beam 03 we're going to come back to the back of the aircraft here and go all the way to the back and we're going to snap it over see how it's red there snap it over one so that it's way it's green there do the same thing on this side as well as you can see, it's flush with the back there. Now we're going to add another BG Beam 03. One more space up, and also one more space to the left there. Then on the right side, one more space to the right. Now we got this little contraption here. This is actually going to be, let's just call it the engine compartment for the airplane. This is going to be where we're putting the power cells. So if you want now, you can add the power cells here. So you can fit one medium power cell back here, or you can fit one large power cell up here. 
but if you want to you can fit a medium and a large to hold as much power as you want and just for this tutorial I'm gonna be placing both that way if you guys decide to do this as well it's all gonna work out for everybody so now we're just gonna add two more blocks to the top of these or excuse me one more so that way it's two blocks high so it looks just like that and now we can go ahead and cover these with some BG thin floor pieces and this is the BG thin floor six by two so go all the way to the back and we'll just start placing them down like this and now we'll go over one and we'll get the eight foot one and do the same thing on top of this one as well and if you want to access these all you have to do obviously just break one of these boards and you can easily access it so we're gonna place that real quick and there you go not hard to get to pretty easy let's go on to the next step here so next up I'm going to add some design to these wings here. Again, we're going to be using these beachy thin floor pieces. So first up, get yourself the 16 foot long one. We're going to place one right there, and right there. So that way it's flush with the end on all sides. And we'll go over to the 12 foot one, snap one there, and then the 6 foot one. And we're going to snap one right on the end, obviously making sure it's all flush with each side. And we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. So one there. One there, go over to the 12 foot, snap it there, and then the six foot piece, just like that. So now we got the wings looking pretty fly there. See what I did there? All right guys, that's enough corny dad jokes. Uh, next up, once again, Beachy Beam all three. We're gonna place one right here and one here. And now that kind of covers, oh, nope, guys, I placed that too high. Make sure it's right on top, so that way there's no gap like that. So there we go. And then we're gonna place one more in front of that. And now we can add another beachy thin floor eight foot piece on top of that. Now we have the wings and the engine compartment done. We can start on the cabin of this aircraft. So for the floor, once again, beachy beam all three. We're just gonna spam these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, I don't know why I'm counting. We're going all the way to the front. <laughs> I guess I don't need to count. We'll just go all the way to the front here. And once we get to this spot right here, we're gonna switch over to the BGB Mo 2, and we're gonna do two of those. And then lastly, we're gonna use the BGB Mo 1 right on the front. So now it kind of looks like the nose of an aircraft there. Now we can add the cabin to this aircraft. So we're just gonna use the prefabricated cabin pieces here. And honestly, I might actually add the open rear cabin here just for ease of seeing better. For some reason, when you have the closed cabin, it puts your character back a little farther. So for this one, I'm gonna add the open cabin rear here. You guys can add the closed, whatever you want. But then, we grab the large cabin roof here, and we're gonna snap it all the way to the left here, to where you can not place it there, and then go one back. So it looks like that. Then we can add the windshield here, and we're gonna place it all the way in the center, obviously, until it, it lets us place it. So right there. Now we got the cabin there. We're gonna go ahead and get the BG Beam 3 again. And on this side, it doesn't matter. You can place it like that, and you can place another one if you want, but I'm gonna leave it open like that, just for ease of access. And on this side, we're just gonna take the BG Beam 1, place one in the front, and that's all. That way we can still access the seat, and when we get out, we can still, obviously, not be stuck in here. And then we're gonna come over, to these seats and you can pick any seat you want i'm gonna do the large driver seat just because i think it's the coolest so we're gonna place it right in the center there so now we got our seat pretty much done here guys next up next up we can take this beachy floor piece once again and we're gonna place one on the front right here and that's the eight foot piece then we're gonna get the six foot piece and place one in front of that so now we got it looking like that i believe now we can add one more beachy bmo one piece to the front just like that. Now we got the nose of that aircraft right there. And guys, this is pretty much it for the building aspect. Now I think we just need to add our thrusters and we're good to go. And the, obviously the wheels as well. So next up, let's actually add the wheels so we can get those out of the way. So for those guys, it's gonna be pretty simple. So see your wings right here. We're gonna go with this Beachy Beamo one. We're gonna go right to the left of the wings there. We're gonna go one block in, place one there. And the same on this side as well, one block in. Then we're gonna go another block down, just like this. And then we'll go snap it to the side and we'll go one block out. So you got something like that. And the same thing on this side as well. Now for the back, all you need to do is come to this square piece right here, go all the way to the edge and place the BG Beamo one right there. Now we got everything we need to place our wheels. So make sure you get this right. So we're gonna get the small powered wheel and make sure it's the powered wheel and not the steering wheels. We're gonna use the steering wheel in the back. So if it's not letting you place it, mess around with it. I'm gonna need to mess around with it. 
until it lets me place it here. These wheels don't like to go on some blocks. See, obviously here, it's gonna let me place it. So that's where you need to place it there. Sometimes it's as easy as just breaking it and putting a new piece there. So let's see if that actually fixed the issue. The small power wheel, yep, and that actually fixed the issue. So if that happens, just break it and it should work and we completely placed it in the wrong spot. So when you're placing it, make sure it is in the upright position. So I don't know if you can see, these wheels actually have a position they can go in. They're not square like the other ones. So make sure they're like triangled upwards, if you know what I mean. You guys can see it there. And then lastly, in the back, we're gonna add a steering wheel, a small turnable wheel here. So again, make sure this one is upright as well, just like that. And once again, it's not letting me place it. So break this block and hopefully it lets us place it this time. Small steering wheel. And there we go, it let us place it. So kind of weird, I don't know why it does that, but make sure your wheels are all going in the forward position. So we have to change that one to go forward. Now there's your wheels for the aircraft, guys. Next up, we can add the thrusters to the wings here. So in order to steer this thing, we're gonna need thrusters on each side of the wing. So we're gonna add two on each side. So just like that on that wing, and then we'll add two more on this side. And that'll be able to get us to steer this thing and go straight all at the same time. Now, to get this thing up in the air, we're obviously going to need thrusters underneath. So we're going to place a large thruster right in the middle of these wheels here, just like that. Then we're going to place one more large thruster right on the tip of these wings on each side. So we're going to place one right there, and then we'll get it in the middle there, just like that. And then we're going to take a small thruster and put one right on the edge of the tail there. So now we got enough thrusters to lift us up. We're going to make sure they're all on the right channel. So by default, all the thrusters are on channel 3, so I'm going to leave all the thrusters that lift the aircraft up on 3, and I'm going to change the left turning thrusters, if it lets me here. Okay, change that to channel 1, both of these. Then we change the right turning thrusters to channel 2. And there we go. Make sure this one's on 3. Yep, that one's on 3. So now, thrusters are all good. The only thing left, guys, to get this in the air is obviously some balloons. So all you're going to need, because it has thrusters on the bottom, is one large balloon on top of the cabin right there, one small balloon in the back, anywhere, it doesn't matter, anywhere that you want, and then we're going to need one small balloon on each wing, more towards the end, but really, it doesn't matter where you place them, just close enough to where I placed them. And now, we can break this jack, and we can test this thing out, because guys, congratulations, you officially just built yourself an amazing aircraft that can not only land, steer, and fly, but you can, you can drive it on land. So let's test this out. Let's remove this jack. Oops, let's remove it, and it's gonna fall down slowly. As you can see, it's barely on the floor, and that is why we can have thrusters on the bottom and drive this thing, and also fly. So I'm gonna test it out, so see, the powered wheels, we can drive this thing. Back wheel, we can steer. Now, it doesn't have the best steering radius, obviously, because it's just one wheel, and half the time, it's honestly not even on the ground, but it still can steer, just not great. Guys, you don't need it to steer much on the ground. This is just to, like, maybe park it once you land it. So, obviously, to get this thing in the air, all we're gonna do is hit the A button to control our channel three, so let's do that. And we're gonna fly in the air. And all we're gonna do now, guys, to get this thing to go forward, is to hit Y and B, or whatever your controls are for channel 1 and 2. So let's do that. And as you can see, it moves forward. We turn one of them off, it'll turn to the right. Turn the other one on, turn the other one off, it turns to the left. And if you need to go higher, all you gotta do is hit channel 3, and you will go higher. And guys, this thing can go pretty high. I mean, it almost goes straight up. This thing goes like extremely high. It's actually pretty easy to land this thing. Not too hard to control. It does take a little bit to getting used to, to press those two channels at the same time. But once you get used to it, I don't know if there's an aircraft that can beat this. Hey guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this build tutorial. And if you did, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, that's it from me. I will see you guys in the next one.